Hey guys, this is Jazz. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm giving you this look here. And starting off, I use the ColourPop Brown Sugar Palette. Oh God, that color fell out. And use the colors Amber, Chalk, and Sorrel all over my eyes with the Sigma blending brush. I forgot what name and number it was. crazy story when I first got that palette the brown sugar palette in the mail and when I did a video of it I think it was the video called first video nervous as fuck I used it for the very first time and as soon as I opened it the color ginger fell out of the palette and landed in a trash can Then after I pretty much had enough slathering these colors all over the lid and crease and all of that, I used the color Saute from the Brown Sugar Palette and add that onto the lid. On the picture, I didn't, but on this one, I did. And also, this is a second recording. The first time I did this was on Valentine's Day and the video was upside down. So of course, I ain't gonna give y'all that upside down video. Next, I use my tried and true foundations, the Makeup Forever foundation stick and the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and smeared it and slathered it all over my face. <laughs> Next, I used my LA Girl Concealer in the color Chestnut and highlighted the parts of my face. Then I use my Sigma Beauty Sponge to blend all of that out. Uh, next, I use the Sasha Buttercup powder and put at the places, oh lord, that's too much, where I obviously highlight it. I mean, who doesn't love Rick and Morty? Next, I use the ColourPop Loose Face Powder in the color Medium Deep to set the rest of my face. Thank <laughs> you. 
break. Back to the program. <laughs> Next, I use the oh shit that was too fast the morphe <laughs> brontour in the color showman's and i used the uh bronzer side to obviously bronze the face Next, I use the brown sugar palette and the, use the colors chalk and sorrel on the bottom lash line. And honestly, I should have used also the color amber that I used on as my transition shade on the bottom line as well. But yeah, it still turned out cute. Next, I use the NARS blush in the color Gulu. I hope I said it right and popped it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I used, no, I think, no, no way, yes. <laughs> I used my Makeup Revolution Setting Spray to set the face. Then I went back to the brown sugar palette and used the color saute and add a little bit more of it to the lid. Next, I used the Wet n Wild highlighter in the color Crown of My Canopy and highlighted the parts of my face. <laughs> Next, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Collab Highlighter Palette in the color Forever Lit, which honestly I need to throw away because it's so friggin' old. And I used the, um, fuck what it was, the Maybelline Snapshot Mascara and coat my lashes. Uh, false lashes I haven't mastered yet, but it's next on my list. Next, I used my Sasha Buttercup powder and my HD Beauty sponge to, I guess you could say, give it more, give my contour a little bit more snatchy tin look and whatever. But I guess I, the the bit I added wasn't enough, so I decided to add a little bit more to make it a little bit, make it even more cut. After I let that powder sit on my face for a little bit, uh, that day I decided to go for a nude. Yes, y'all, hell's beginning to freeze over. I opted for a nude that day. I used the MAC Lip Liner in Cork, uh, lined my lips, and blended that out by pressing my lips together. Then I dust away the powder off after letting it sit for a while. Then I believe I used the Color Rain Liquid Lipstick in the Color Mars, which I absolutely adore. It's a beautiful color. And I added that on to my lips and blended that out by pressing my lips together. Then I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Lip Gloss in the Color Sepia to add, add that as a finishing touch.
All right, guys, then there goes my little video and whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time.